Looks like Birds of Prey is getting a spinoff. And that surprises a lot of us because the first Birds of Prey that came out last year didn't do that well at the box office. But it looks like it was good enough to continue in some fashion. Journey Smollett, who played the Black Canary, and she was, a lot of people thought she was one of the best things about that movie. She's coming back for a Black Canary movie that's going to be written by Misha Green. Now, Misha Green was the huge creative force behind Lovecraft Country, an HBO Max show that Journey Smollett was one of the stars of. So the two of them are getting back together to do a Black Canary movie. And I can see why Warner Brothers Green lit this. I mean, if Journey Smollett, you know, went to Misha Green and wanted to collaborate with her and said, let's pitch a Black Canary movie to HBO Max and Warner Brothers and have you do it, they probably went, well, Misha Green was the big creative force behind Lovecraft Country and it got all these these um, these critical acclaim nominations, right? Amy nominations, Golden Globe nominations. Yeah, she has the chops to do it. They might have thought something like that. So it makes a lot of sense. And I guess you don't need a Birds of Prey 2. You can just do a Black Canary continuation, right? Or a Hunter's continuation or whatever. You can just continue the story in a spinoff movie. And it'll be very interesting to see what they do with the Black Canary movies. Is it just going to be about the Black Canary? Or are they going to have it be where the Birds of Prey show up? Because at the end of Birds of Prey, you know, they had formed Huntress, Black Canary, and Renee Montoya, and Cassandra Kane into their own, like, crime-fighting team, right? So are they going to have that be in Black Canary, or is it just going to be Black Canary by herself? They can go into more of her past. Because in the movie, they talked about how, you know, she has her sonic scream power, and it's what her mother had, like her mother's power or something like that. But they didn't go into how she got that power or, you know, her mother's history, anything like that. And they could use this Black Canary movie to explain that. In the comics, you know, Black Canary's origin and her mother's origin, it's kind of convoluted because it's changed a lot over the years. So it'll be very interesting to see how they do it in the movies. They also kind of made it very convoluted on the Arrow TV show, right? With Laurel and her sister. And then there was another Canary who came. The Black Canary, in terms of where she comes from, has been all over the place. Not that not that very clear cut, you know, like Batman's origins clear cut, Superman's origins clear cut, but Black Canaries, it's, you know, who knows what it is sometimes. And I'm happy. I mean, I like the Black Canary character. I think the Black Canary character was really like run over with a bus on the Arrowverse. I think they screwed her over. So I think that if the movies and the shows are gonna do, like the, the HBO Max movies and the, the theatrical movies are gonna do the character better, more justice, I'm 100% behind that. And I think Journey Smollett did a good job as the character. And I would love to see her come back for more, which she is. And I also didn't like in Birds of Prey how she and the Huntress were basically second fiddle to Harley Quinn in a movie that really should have been more about them. So I'm glad that the Black Canary, one of them at least, the Black Canary is coming back in a movie that's gonna focus more on her and showcase her like the iconic, you know, superhero that she is. I come, in from, I come at this from the comics, right? I read the DC comics, so I know how great the Black Canary is and so do a lot of other DC comics readers. And the comics community really understands why this is good and why a character who deserves to be elevated from being Harley Quinn's backup dancer is getting the elevation. <laughs> and I am curious, are they gonna have her team up with Leslie Grace's Batgirl? Because Leslie Grace's Batgirl is getting an HBO Max movie too. And you know, Barbara Gordon and the Black Canary are huge parts of Birds of Prey history. So maybe they could team up eventually and we could have them finally do the Birds of Prey the right way with it being Black Canary, Batgirl, and you know, maybe bringing Mary, Mary Elizabeth Winstead back as the Huntress, like having the three of them star in a Birds of Prey 2 or whatever, or even a series would be the best way to go because then they would really get the spotlight they deserve. Now, unfortunately, because fans are fickle, I've seen online they've been complaining because this would be a superhero movie starring a person of color going to HBO Max instead of streaming. And a lot of Warner Brothers DC shows and movies starring people of color that we're gonna get in the future are apparently going to HBO Max. And they think that's a downgrade from the theatrical. Shows like Blue Beetle, Static, um, the Leslie Grace Batgirl movie, um, and one of the rumored, I think, Black Superman projects are supposed to go to HBO Max as far as we know today. But the complainers are forgetting that there are theatrical big blockbuster movies starring people of color that Warner Brothers has made for DC already and will continue to make, right? 
Black Adam, Aquaman and Aquaman 2, right? Those star are made of color. People forget for some reason that The Rock and Jason Momoa are made of color. I don't know why that is, but you know, they've gotten the big blockbuster movie treatment. So I'm not sure that a lot of these people are really paying that close attention. And they also forget that other HBO Max shows like Green Lantern and the Gotham Police Department show that are coming are gonna have a lot of white folks in them. So it's not just, you know, DC characters of color who are going, I guess, being demoted to streaming. And I don't think it's really that much of a demotion, right? Because streaming shows, especially these days, are very high quality and get a lot of attention and a lot of views. And there's a business reason why Warner Brothers is doing this. I mean, theatrical movies right now aren't doing that well. Not from anybody, really, not for the most part. Look at The Suicide Squad and Space Jam and Godzilla vs. Kong, those movies didn't make as much money as they would make normally because we're in a pandemic. Same with Disney, right? Um, Black Widow, um, Jungle Cruise, Cruella, those movies all would have made more money if we were in you know, more normal times. But they got a streaming component and they made less money at theaters because of the pandemic. So I think that's what Warner Brothers is looking at when they're putting all of these things, these movies and shows we're hearing on streaming. And this is good for the Black Canary. Because if you think about it, she's a spinoff. This movie is going to be a spinoff, the Black Canary movie from Birds of Prey, another movie that didn't do well in theaters anyway, even when we were not in a pandemic. Birds of Prey was, I think, the, the last superhero movie to come out just before all this started, and it completely tanked at the box office. So there's no reason for Warner Brothers to think that a continuation, a spinoff from a low-performing movie is somehow going to be a box office juggernaut. So streaming is the best option. But I think it's a good option. I mean, streaming shows and movies these days are very high quality. I mean, look at like Loki and WandaVision and stuff, Falcon and the Winter Soldier, Doom Patrol. I mean, these shows are critically acclaimed and have, you know, a huge fan base. Well, I don't know about Doom Patrol, unfortunately. Doom Patrol is a good show, but it's not as big as like WandaVision and stuff. But if a Black Canary movie is just as good as all that, this is a good thing. I don't think this is bad at all. And part of me is like, I think that if you're, if you're someone who wants people of color to get more opportunities in like superhero movies and shows, who cares whether it's in movies or on streaming as long as it's happening. I think we should celebrate these victories. And as a fan, I don't care where I watch these movies and shows, whether it's at home or in the theater, as long as I like them and they're good. But what do you think? How do you feel about the Black Canary getting a movie? And how do you feel about that movie being on HBO Max instead of in theaters? I think it makes a lot of sense and I have no problem with it. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like it on YouTube and subscribe to the channel because I appreciate your viewership and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.